Big brother. I paid yeah. you back. Uh, I had to. <laughs> if becoming famous is one in a million, these celeb families sure have luck on their side. Hey, The Things fans. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some Hollywood celebs that couldn't help but make their on-screen projects a family affair. Some people might be horrified at even the thought of bringing family members with them to work, but tons of A-list actors have made some of their best movies with their brother or sister by their side. You'll be shocked when you find out just what stars were actually siblings in blockbuster movies like Harry Potter, The Princess Diaries, and even Home Alone. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. You might know this epic duo from their takeover on the competition show Dancing with the Stars. But before they could become professional dancers and judges, they shared the screen in a pretty big movie as kids. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. They might not have landed any main roles, but they both got pretty decent screen time as extras. Julianne threw on her Gryffindor gear to cheer on Harry during his Quidditch match, and Derek was proudly wearing his Ravenclaw robes in a Christmas at Hogwarts scene. Being featured in Harry Potter didn't throw them off the concept of working together again. In fact, it did just the opposite. Not only have they worked on the same competition shows, but they embarked on a full-on tour together. Move Live on Tour, back in 2014. I was a Ravenclaw, I had the tie, I had the scarf, I had the robe. Who even knew these two were siblings? In hindsight, they do look related, but we would never have guessed when watching The Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement. They never shared the screen at the exact same time, but Spencer was the very, um, persistent Prince Jock, who just couldn't win Princess Mia over. Abigail, on the other hand, had a cameo as the orphan that Mia lets walk with her in the Genovia Independence Parade. The Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause, and Perfect Sister also featured the pair together. I can't, I'm too little, too piccola. Dakota Fanning broke into the world of red carpet and paparazzi at a very young age, and her sister Elle Fanning wasn't far behind her. In fact, one of Elle's first movies was playing the younger version of Dakota's character Lucy in I Am Sam. Because of how similar they look, the casting worked perfectly. Now, they've both gone on to have pretty impressive careers, working in movies like Twilight and Maleficent. But that's not all for the duo. We're getting their first real movie together as co-stars in 2021 when the film The Nightingale is set to hit theaters. Daddy, did God mean for you to be like this? Was it an accident? There's no doubt that Jason Bateman in Arrested Development is hilarious, but things got even better in the season three episode where his character Michael found out that he had a long lost sister. And the long lost sister was actually played by his real life sister, Justine Bateman. But a knack for film and acting goes further down the family line than just the siblings. Jason and Justine's father, Kent Bateman, was also an actor, writer, and director in the film industry. You, you do do finances and stuff, right? I do all sorts of scenes. There you go, okay. <sighs> the three Hemsworth brothers are known for a lot more than just their acting skills. Their rugged Australian accents and rendezvous with celebs like Miley Cyrus have really brought them into the spotlight. But have any of the brothers actually taken the Hollywood big screen together? Chris Hemsworth landed one of his biggest roles as Thor, but in Thor Ragnarok, he shared the screen with one of his brothers, Luke. Luke got the role of fake Thor in a dramatic play put on by Loki. We have built a big statue for with my helmet on, with the big bendy horns. If you have a Netflix subscription, you most likely know Joey King as the star of the hit movie, The Kissing Booth. But what you might not know is she has a sister named Hunter in Hollywood, who's also majorly successful. She stars in the soap opera, The Young and the Restless, and in the comedy series, Life in Pieces. Joey recently guest starred on Life in Pieces, and the two got to share the screen together. The two recently announced that they will be taking the screen together again in a secret project. In an EW interview, Joey basically pleaded for somebody in the film industry to offer them another project. Anyone reading this that has any kind of pull, Hunter and I want to work together more. But being my best friend doesn't give you the right to tell me who I can love. Lizzie McGuire may have found her doppelganger in the Lizzie McGuire movie, but in real life, she has a sister, Haley Duff, that not only shares similar features, but a knack for acting. Haley did have a few cameos in the Disney show Lizzie McGuire as Enemy Kate's cousin. But back in 2006, Hillary and Haley released Material Girls, a movie that they both starred in. They play two wealthy celeb sibs, how ironic, named Tansy and Ava, who lose everything they have because of a big family scandal. Freaky, huh? Way freaky. 
Ben and Casey Affleck have both made names for themselves in Hollywood, but before Casey was as well known as he is today, the two worked together in a pretty big film. Ben was one of the main characters in the film Good Will Hunting, and Casey also had a role in the film as Morgan O'Malley. They got together again in the 90s film 200 Cigarettes, and then, they may not have been on screen together for this one, but Ben did give Casey a solid and cast him as the main character in his directorial debut, Gone Baby Gone. Are you saying you didn't do it? Fine. Take your money and we'll be on our way. As much as people think that they look alike, Zoe De Chanel and Katy Perry are not related. But Zoe is related to actress Emily De Chanel. The two are sisters, and yes, they have worked together. Emily spent years on the crime series Bones, and Zoe was featured as a guest star on one of their Christmas specials. But Zoe has gone on to make a pretty impressive career for herself as well. She starred in movies like Elf and even landed her own comedy series, New Girl all thought about me while self-completing. We're taking it back to the early 90s for this next pair. Macaulay Culkin will forever be known as Home Alone's Kevin McAllister, the eight-year-old boy who somehow managed to survive a robbery while being left at home during a family vacation. But what some people might not know is that Macaulay wasn't the only Culkin in the film. His younger brother, Kieran, was also featured in Home Alone and Home Alone 2 as Kevin's cousin Fuller, also known as the Bedwetter. A super shower washing every body part with actual soap. They might have started off on different paths, but they eventually met in the middle. After starring in their own projects like Eat, Pray, Love and 21 Jump Street, Dave and James Franco made their debut as a duo in their film The Disaster Artist. They played best friends Tommy and Greg. The movie even landed an Oscar nomination for its screenplay and a Golden Globe win for Best Actor that went to James. I'm not Santa Claus, all right? Maybe you go buy water for everybody, Greg. The Conjuring universe arguably has some of the best horror movies our generation has ever seen. And none of it would be possible without Queen Vera Farmiga, who portrays real-life paranormal investigator Lorraine Warren. So when the prequel to the series, The Nun, was released, the only logical answer would be to cast her sister as her younger self. Thaisa Farmiga plays Lorraine in her younger years. Vera and Thaisa never exactly share a scene, but they are both featured in the film. Vera also started Thaisa's career by casting her in the film Higher Ground, which also happened to be her directorial debut. Well, looks like she was right to take a chance on her. She felt anything but holy. Without even factoring a sibling into the mix, Disney's hit show Hannah Montana was already a family affair. Miley Stewart's dad, Robbie Ray Stewart, is Miley Cyrus's real father, but her younger sister Noah Cyrus was also featured in quite a few episodes in the series, and the two really brought their sibling nature to the screen. Now, Noah Cyrus has gone on to build her own career in the music industry. It's hard to believe that one family could hold so much talent when you look at the list of celebs we have here. Maybe their films and TV shows were so great because of the sibling chemistry they brought to the screen. Did you know that these actors were actually siblings? Do you know any other on-screen relatives that deserve a mention? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and we'll see you next time.